What if Griffo is only costing around 70k on launch night, which to me seems pretty cheap for a card that hopefully will be 88 rated in a few weeks. And to be fair, on first glance the card actually looks quite solid. So in this video today, we're going to try him out to see if he's worth that cost, if he's underpriced or overpriced. Let's uh, let's find out. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So we are going to try him out in a full boot. Bundesliga sad. I'm a bit bored of using the same team over and over again, so I'm just going to try and, you know, freshen things up and maybe try some players that I haven't used in a while. So let's do that. So we're just going to start with a team like this and hopefully um, get on quite well with it. So in terms of trace, this guy's got flair and outside the foot shot. And in terms of in game stats, like I already touched on, he's got some really nice attributes. In the shooting section, really good shot power of 94. In the passing department, really nice crossing of 95. And in the dribbling department, he's got 89 ratings for both ball control and dribbling and also 88 agility. Like, on paper, this card seems quite good. I'm quite unsure about why he is so cheap right now. Maybe in game he'll just be really, really terrible or maybe he's just, you know, just good value at that price. Um, so I guess we'll find that out when we get into the gameplay. It is time to play the chem style game. Which one is Kieran going to select to use on this guy? I am thinking we just go with Hunter, max out his pace and give him some really nice shooting stats and I feel like that's probably the best bet, especially for the way that I play in game because I like to score goals with my wingers. And I also think his dribbling is up to a good standard already and so is his passing. So uh, yeah, may as well. I'm going to go for Hunter. Would you do the same? Let me know in the comments. So in Griffo's debut, we are up against a pretty ridiculous side that has players like Future Stars, Ansu Fati and also David Beckham on the wing. Griffo in possession of the football does well to scoot between the two defenders there. And he's in a bit of space now. Rainbow flicks his man. Oh, the ball just doesn't bounce kindly for us. I probably didn't need to do that, but I thought, you know what? We're on a nice little run here. Let's let's make it look a bit better. So we have to break now. Griffo up against Walker here. And he's done well to get round him once. Oh, Walker is just holding on to us there. Can we get the shot away? Nice chance. Get on that, Griffo. Opportunity. Oh, chance. Griffo can get on the end of that. And he's actually done really well to somehow win that ball there. Can we have one more chance for half time? Carl Walker as well. Well, it's 1 1 at the break, and look, like it's been a tough game. We haven't really seen much of the ball, but hopefully, we can do in the second half. We're going to make a couple of changes just to strengthen the side a bit more, and uh, hopefully, get Griffo on the ball a lot more. Chance Griffo straight from kickoff, and he scored as well. We will take that perfect start to the second half after a pretty boring first 45. Hansel Davis. Griffo now has a chance to distribute, puts the ball through nicely for Witzel out the back. What can he do? He's going to dink it inside. Oh, I wanted the volley. Why did I get at that? Griffo spots the run of Mane, and that is a really nice through ball, which Mane will get on the end of. We're going to go for the early ball just because. Oh, I actually thought Larissa was going to like palm that out. Ooh, that bounce was favourable. Griffo with the finesse gets the goal and wraps the game up. And there is full time. Not a bad little 4-1 victory. It was very, very close in the first 45, but uh, in the second 45, we just took full advantage. And um, two goals from Griffo, not too bad. But uh, didn't really blow me away in that game, so hopefully in the coming games, he yeah, has some bit more stronger performances. Let's see. We eventually get into another match, and um, we've gone from a very nice team full of special cards to uh, just a standard Premier League team. Still a good side, but... Uh, yeah, definitely not as intimidating as team number one in the previous game. Nice interception from Klosterman. Hands it off to Griffo, who is going to skip past the challenge of wan -Bissaki. He's going to slide there, isn't he? Oh. And Bruno, link up. Here's an opportunity now. If the ball is right into the box, and it is a good ball. Oh, we should be scoring that. Jovic has got to score that. It's a great ball. As Griffo intercepts the cross. Well, half time, 2 1 down, but um, I'm feeling confident about a comeback, so uh, let's do it. The second 45 will also feature Griffo in a central role. Really well to hold up the ball there. Griffo has almost got round for Fana. Puts the ball through for Jovic. Who's beating his man. Jovic gives it to Fernandez, who scores. We've pulled it back. Man, Jovic's hold up play is just so nice. Griffo, come on. Use some pace. Like, you're just running as if you've got no pace when you do. Nice goal, though. Very, very nice finesse there. And that completes the comeback. The Griffo, who... As I say, like when he's like I'm holding sprint and he just doesn't feel like he's moving any quicker. Which is very, very frustrating. As we get inside the box here, can we find the man with the pass? Oh I thought Jovic was gonna pull off his man there. Nice. Good one too with Jovic. Has he got the pace to get round for Fana? 
We're still going, Jovic. Hopefully we get a rebound off this. We unfortunately don't. <sighs> ah, unfortunately the game ends in a 3-3 draw, which I feel a bit hard done by, to be honest. When we came back to be 3-2 up after being 2-0 down, I thought we'd done well. But, um... Yeah, we let it go, sadly. But, uh, yep, Griffo, not a bad performance again. Uh, another goal for him. Was involved in the build-up to another as well, so not a bad effort. So, here's the thing about this card. It's two outputs. It's crossing and it's shot power. are very good. But the problem is actually getting him into positions to actually utilise those the best. His pace in-game is just... It seemed fraudulent. Like, he, he's meant to have 99 pace with the Hunter Kev style on, right? He felt nowhere near that pace at all. He didn't even feel 18 arm pace to be honest and I think you'll have seen that in the clips. Is he slow? No. But does he feel as quick as his stats suggest? For me, not at all, especially with the football. And that brings me on to the next point of his dribbling just didn't seem that good for a winger. Like, if you have him in a central role, it's not that bad, but for a winger, his dribbling is nowhere near as good as the in-game stats suggest, in my opinion. So, uh, if you're a big fan of good dribblers on the ball in wide areas, this is probably a card to avoid. He's just a bit stiff and yeah, it just feels heavy, which is uh, very, very frustrating. Like, when he's running with the ball, it's like he's, like, running, like, custard or something. It's it's, it's, it's really disappointing, and um, it, it's a shame, really. Like, I wasn't expecting amazing things from this card, knowing the price, but when I saw the card stats, I thought, you know what, this card actually might surprise some people, but um, it didn't surprise me, let's put it that way. Um, things that I like, though, as I say, the crossing is good. If you get him into the right areas, he will deliver a really good ball into the box and create a chance. His shot power is also really nice, too, so if you get him in the box, he's got a good chance of scoring. It's just getting him into these positions isn't as easy as it is with other attackers, which is unfortunate. So, pace, a bit disappointing. Shooting, pretty solid, to be fair. Passing is... I, in terms of short and long passing, it's, it's alright. In terms of crossing, very good. Dribbling is disappointing. And then finally, physically, just average. Um, okay stamina, but if you've run with him a lot, he's going to tire quite a bit. 85 stamina, in my opinion, isn't good for a winger. Um, and 70 strength is okay. can hold off some um, like fullbacks, but centre-backs are obviously going to take him off the ball. Like All in all, it's it's a usable item. But is it a great one? No. Is it gonna um, like force? Is this card gonna like force his way into other people's teams? Probably not. It's just not that good. Maybe when it gets or if it gets the plus two upgrade, maybe then um, it'll get a much needed boost. But um, it's gonna need a very very good boost to make this card worth it, in my opinion. Like in terms of like um, worth it in terms of coins, I don't think like seventy k is bad value. I think it's worth trying out at least at that price. But um, yeah, as things stand, as an eighty six overall, I don't think it's a great one wide option unfortunately i wish it was better because the cast stats are pretty solid but uh as things stand it's still a decent item but ultimately not one really worth going after to add into your starting 11s in my opinion but uh, as i said hopefully when he gets that uh, plus two if he does um hopefully a big upgrade comes for this guy and maybe then he'll be uh really good but i will have to wait and see for that um anyway guys that's gonna wrap us up for this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below if you've used the card i'd love to hear your thoughts as well what do you make of him and his price thanks for watching and as always i'll catch you in the next one